This video is about understanding dart thickness and how you can measure it at home without buying a single dart. This review is how you at home can determine what thickness of dart is best for you anywhere from 5.8 millimeters to 7.8 millimeters. And the easiest way to do that is with a piece of paper. No. We're not doing airplanes for this video. Stop crying. Okay, after the video, we'll make a paper airplane and throw it. So can I get on with the review? Thanks. So we're going to demonstrate with paper different thicknesses of darts. So you or yourself at home can try them out and see if it's right for you. It's just one way of doing it without having to spend money on darts themselves. Let's get on with the measurements. The reason I chose paper is its consistency and thickness. It is 0 0.01 millimeters thick. So you take 10 of them together, put them together, and you got a 1.0 millimeter thickness piece of paper. Now if you put 50 of them together, and you got a 5.0 millimeter thick dart. Now, I realize it's flimsy, it's not solid, it's wider than a dart, but it's just a cheap way of understanding of the thickness of darts and also what feels comfortable in the hand. And as I hold this, 5.0 mm, seems kind of thin. Usually the darts I play with are 5.8. So I'm going to take, this is 10 pages, so I'm going to take two pages out and I'm going to put them together now that gives me a 5.8 thickness dart. Now hold it in my hand and go, yeah, that feels about right. But I've also played with 6.0 millimeters. So I'm going to take these two pages, put them back on, get them together. And now I have a 6.0 millimeter dart. Still comfortable. You want to go with 6.2? You take another two pages, put it on top, when you want to stay together, hold it against your hand, you kind of go, really there's not that much of a difference, but actually there is. Depends on your fingers, or if you have arthritis, or small fingers, large fingers, big hands, small hands, etc. You know, everybody's different on the way to hold your dart. But for, this is, a, again, an inexpensive way of doing it. And I'm holding this together and I got 6.2. Now I've seen some people go all the way up to a 7.0 dart. Now, 50 white pages, 10 yellow pages, 10 blue pages, not blue pages or yellow pages you find in your phone books. Put them together and I got 7.0 millimeters. And I put that together and I kind of go, you know what? That's quite thick. And there's a set of darts that I actually tested we're 7.4 millimeters. So I'm going to take another four pages here. Two, three, four. That's the widest I've ever thrown. And actually, I didn't have that much difficulty. I just got the hang of it. And I put this together. And I have, right now, that thickness. 7.4 millimeters. And I'm holding it, and it's like, you know, that's, that's pretty hefty. Something you really have to get used to. So when you take the pieces of the paper together, I'll take another 50 here together to go to for 5.0. And I'm holding them together and I kind of go, hmm. Then I got to go, whoa, that's pretty different. So let me try another 10 pages on this one here if I like it. Ooh, 6.0 feels just about right compared to my 7.4. Yeah, you know, I like between 5.8 and 6.2. So I'm going to put another two pages on here. And I have 6.2. Go like this. Feels nice. And I'll take away these four. And I'm going to go back down to a 7.0. So you can just go back and forth. You test it out. You go. 7.4, that feels kind of hefty. 
6.2, that feels, you know, about right. So anywhere for me, 5.8 to 6.2 is a good thickness. As for some others, 7.0 or more might be just right. Or even, for some individuals, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5.0 millimeters is right. I mean, that's that's really kind of too thin as far as I'm concerned, but that's in my opinion. This is just a demonstration that you can try at home to see, you know what, I've been trying different kinds of darts, and it's just not working out for me. My fingers are getting tired. I can't figure it right. The grip is wrong. I mean, everybody's different. This may work for you. This may not work for you, but this is a very inexpensive way of determining a good, comfortable thickness just by going around, taking these pages, testing it out, holding them for a while, doing a sample like, oh yeah, that feels okay. And then from there, determine what mid-range of thickness of darts is right for you. Again, this is my way of doing it for me, and that's how I found out that 5.8 to 6.2 is a perfect width darts for me. For me, this is one of the most inexpensive ways, and there are many ways, to try to determine what's the right thickness of dart that you can hold. For me, paper was just perfect. Oh yeah, gotta go. I promise to make paper airplanes. Till next time.